Vectors Science Business Studies. Welcome back. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Also, I have my own YouTube channel called Crazy IGCSE, where I teach IGCSE biology, physics, maths, English as second language, business, economics, and accounting. So please go and subscribe there as well. So vectors have a direction and a magnitude, while scalar does not have a direction; it only has a magnitude. Now, for this example, C D. So C D, here we have to uh, find D C. So here we have been given that C D is equal to C, which means this direction is equal to C. But now they are asking the opposite, D C. Now D C will be negative C. Because C uh, C to D it is positive. From D to C it will be negative. Now for this question, uh, we have five and one. Now to reach five and one, first we have two directions which we could use. One is this, and then one is this. So it will be in this direction. Now we know that here A and B is five, so we have five, and then. B and C is one, so we have plus one. So we can write it as five one. Now, if you're going in the opposite direction, which is this direction, now for, uh, we're going down. So when we're we going down, we uh, put minus so minus one, and then here we're going backwards, so we put minus five. Now for this question, the um, this is the direction. So th this is the uh, direction given in the question. Now we have to find B A, C B, D C, A C, and A D. Now we know that A B is equal to A, but now they're asking us B A, so it will be. Minus a, then c b. We know b c is b, so now the opposite direction will be minus b. So this is minus b. Then we have to find d c. Now we know that d c is anyways going this direction, so it is going to be positive c. A c is this way. Now to reach a c, we can go this way. For that we have a here and we have b here, so it can be a plus b. A d is this direction, so we can go um, over here like this, like this, and then like this. For that we have a, we have b, and we have c, so we can write a plus b plus c. Now we need to know that parallel vectors are equal. Now here the question is to write down this as a uh, column vector. So in the question it says p is equal to two and three, and q is equal to minus one and one. So now we have to find two p. We have two here, and we know that the value of p is two three. So we'll just put it over here two and three. So now what we do is we just multiply two. With these, so two into two is four, and two into three is six. So we get four six. Then minus q for minus q, we know we just put the minus sign. Then we know that q is minus one and one. So then we put minus one and one, and after that we just uh, the minus over here means minus one itself, so minus one into minus one is one, and minus one into one is minus one. So this is the answer. Then p plus q, we know that p is two three and q is minus one and one. So we have two three, and then we have minus one and one. So now, if you calculate in your calculator, two, two plus minus one will give you one, and three plus four will give you a uh, three plus one will give you four. So your answer is one four. 
Now parallel vectors. So here we need to find the common value, which is minus 2. We keep it outside. And then if we remove minus 2, we're remaining with a and b. So it is a plus b. Then for this one, it is 2 common. Uh, if we cut 2, we remain with a plus b. So this is how we do. Then for this question, uh, 1 by 3, a minus b. So now we know that 1 by 3, a minus b. So uh, we can just multiply this b with 3. So now we can, it becomes 1 by 3, a, then minus 3b because minus b into 3 is minus 3b now since 3 is in the denominator it can be uh, calcul uh, it can be made the denominator for both the parts so 1 by 3 uh, and then a minus 3b by 3 as well because it's in the denominator so here we divide it by 3. Now we already know that 1 by 3 will be our common uh, which will go outside the bracket. Now if we remove 1 by 3, even this 3 is cancelled, we remain with a, um, a minus 3b. So your answer will be a minus 3b. So this will be your answer. For this one, finding magnitude. So here is an example. Uh, here uh, we can go this way. So if we go this way, this is A and this is B. Now we know that AB is equal to 3, minus, uh, 3 and minus 4. Now we have to find the magnitude of this vector. For finding the magnitude, all we have to do is A square plus um, a square plus b square so which is like 3 square plus minus 4 square now if you enter these values correctly in the calculator you get 5 so your answer will be 5. So now you need to know that the vector addition is a plus b. So it will go up, which means it will be a line which is going up. Vector subtraction a minus b means going down. So it's going down. So this is the end of our topic. Thank you for watching Sense Business Studies. And I'll be coming up with more practice questions for our vectors topic. So stay tuned for that.